All right, everybody. It's morning. It's a Saturday. Another junky ass uh, drops out here. So uh, yeah, and, you know, not, there's a toilet in the middle of the. It's the typical thing, you know, remodel. Anyway, um, I'm just going to talk about um, these. These are closet doors. You know, they're kind of a synthetic material. I'm not even sure what, what they're made out of. It looks oh this is actually some sort of like fiberboard like they're kind of cheap they're who knows what where they're from, you know what decade they're from but they got this silver railing or uh, this uh, framework here and I put a coat on already and I just rolled them out and I, there's a little bit of texture so I mean you can't really mess with these too much because they'll just they'll just basically fall apart and rip so sandpaper is good but a nice broad knife like this, just knock off, knock off the lumps and anything, especially a, a dirty job site when you have the, when you're painting amongst other trades, you don't always get ideal situations. So left this to the last, there's not a lot of heavy construction going on, but it is pretty dirty in here. So, um, I put a coat on, um, just basically lock lock in this uh just lock it in meaning you know the next coat i can sand so if you do this too soon you might rip the paint but it's like hot summer and um you know uh things dry pretty quick and this is a decent paint so um anyway so my tip is basically just scrape scrape the lumps and then if you have some sandpaper I have a, a piece of used, like 100, what is this? This is a used 80 grit, but the texture is knocked out. If you have a 150 or 100 even, maybe 150. But if it's not, if there's not a lot of grit in a used piece from a Orbital, just go ahead. This can use a little, a, quite a bit of sanding here. This is leaving a little bit of a, of a mark, but I'm okay with that because I'm going to put on a nice thick coat. But ideally use 150 i would say so this is just gonna the more paint this gets the better and uh anyway so uh i'm actually just brushing right now cutting in stuff so i'm not gonna roll a coat second coat but i want to cut it in i did tape it off so i'm just gonna give a little video here so i started the started the cut in and then i'm just gonna run my brush down here just this paint is um, decent quality, but it still needs two coats. So here I'm just gonna use the broad strokes. Oops. Get that, just wipe it off the finger. Yeah. It's always harder to work with while you're holding the camera. So anyway, so that's, let me just put a little bit in the field here. I'm just dipping this right out here, okay. So I don't know if this camera's picking up, but there's just, blue weakness in here and then my sanding marks so if i run the brush in this section it should be good boom all right and then load up the brush so yeah i'm gonna uh, i could probably do this with a brush but i'm just gonna sometimes it's just fun to use a brush and not roll because it's a little more technical Keeps it interesting, but okay. Hopefully the camera's picking up. It's getting more of a solid coat. Oh, I can't see it on, the, on my side here, but I'm assuming it's coming through. You spilled up the coat. Second coat will always look a lot more like your imagination was. The first coat always, people sometimes leave with the first coat. They don't even realize that the second one's gonna make it look really good. Okay, this is, let's see. It's filling in really nicely. Complete off-white field, no blue coming through or whatever base color that was. I think it's like a blue-gray kind of. So let me step back. Oh, there, we're in focus. Hopefully we're in focus that time, I hope. Okay. All right, so just wanted to show you how to fix up some older sliding doors they are it is possible you know if they're uh the base color was basically white but if it's an, another color or wood you can just primer it first and build up a few coats it will take definitely will take a few coats uh here's some wood sliders a little more 
heavy, but uh, these need a little more attention too. Um, but you can make old stuff look good again. So, all right, guys.